All right, so let's make this altered bottle. We'll take a Yoohoo, which you might want to drink first. Remove the label and add some tape all around the bottle and squish it down onto the glass. Make it nice and, and tight. You can crumple it up to give it more texture later on. Cut out the lid so that it can screw on, back on. And just clean it up, the bottom of it, so it won't stick. And that's how it's going to look. Nice and crumpled up. And uh, you'll take some some beads or, or whatever you want to put on it, little decorations. And I'll trace the areas where I want those decorations to go on so that I could take this uh, two-part epoxy and um, trace it out with what I, I did with the pencil with the pen. So mix it up and follow the lines and make sure to get a nice glob on there and maybe let it set a little bit so it could stick. I didn't do that and I had to play with it until it remains stuck on there. So you could give it a little bit of curing time and then place your decorations on. Um, so here we're going to add other bits here of washers and I'll trace them out again. and then dab on some of that epoxy. And just place your item onto the bottle. And repeat this with all the decorations you want. And so here you can see this is another set of beads that I'm going to add to the bottom and that's going to be it for for the things I'll add to this bottle this time I let it stick a little bit longer um, cure a little bit longer the epoxy and that's how it looks so hit it with some flat black spray paint and um, from there, you're going to be able to add the different variations of color. But start off with black, well in this case, and this is how it's looking right now. I also hit it with some, um, geez, what do you call it? Uh, shellac. So hit it with some brown acrylic paint. Just brush it on and then wipe it off. Then take a little bit of uh, a metallic paint, I'm using bronze here, and then just uh, brush it on as well. You can go light or heavy, it all depends on what you want. This is a little bit of rub and buff that I'm going to add to it, which is a metallic, um, I guess like a, a metallic paste and it'll give it some extra detail and this is how it came out real nice so I'll just um, sign it on the bottom I'll stamp it on the bottom and that's about it if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing to Escajedo Woodworking thank you so much